Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big exciting day in my kitchen. Oh, I'm so excited to bring you guys this recipe now. Now listen, where are we going? What are we making? We're going to go to Milan. Can I take you guys to Milan? Are you with me? And we're going to go to this little village. It's southeast of Milan, and it's very special to me because that's where my family's from. That's where my father's side of the family's from. And it's a little village called Costioli di Aste, and it's just it's just this little gem of a place. You come down these roads and it looks like you're kind of going to nowhere and it's got a little feel of Tuscany. You know, you got the rolling hills and, and there's a lot of, uh, of a vineyard that you're gonna see. And then all of a sudden you come to this traffic light and there you are, you're in Costioli di Aste and you come down the hill and you turn and there is my, that's my family's uh, meat shop. That's where my, uh, my father's uh, from and, and his father, they were all butchers. So they had a little little store. They basically have a polenta festival. And what they do is they take polenta and they, and they serve it constantly throughout the night, but with different preps. So you're going to have uh, blue cheese. You're going to have just butter and cheese, which is, I mean, all of this is just delicious. You're going to have a rabbit stew. You're going to have a pork stew. And then you're going to have a mushroom stew or a wild mushroom stew. So in any case, I want to bring in this delicious recipe. And I love mushrooms and I love polenta and butter and, and garlic and olive oil. So, so if you're with me, if you love these things, you're going to love you're gonna love today's recipe. All right, so let's get going, enough chatting. Let's get cooking. Let me go over ingredients. This will go relatively quickly, but there's a little bit of a strategy just to save us time in the kitchen, okay? So number one, uh, the center stage in this really is gonna be two, right? You got two people carrying the marquee here. One's gonna be the polenta. So we're gonna go with a medium to large ground polenta. Now, why do I say that? A lot of times when you go buy cornmeal, if you will, it'll be finely ground. We don't want that. We want the coarse, or the medium course, and we're gonna use one cup yellow, that's what's traditional in Italy from Milan, one cup yellow, medium to large grain polenta. Now in making the polenta, we're gonna add liquid to it. So if you add water, remember, water always dilutes flavor. So we wanna add some flavor. So with this polenta, we're gonna add a couple of things. One, we're gonna add two cups, two cups of water. Now, I know, I don't want to contradict myself, bear with me. And then we're going to add some flavor to the polenta, so we're going to add two cups of chicken stock. Now, you can add anything. We're doing mushroom. You can make a mushroom stock if you want from like a dried mushroom or dried porcini. I'm not going to do that today. Or you could do beef stock if you want. A vegetable stock goes great with this, which is fantastic. I like the chicken stock. I like the flavor that it brings. So we're going to use two cups of chicken stock and two cups of plain water. We're going to mix those, and that will be the liquid that we cook our polenta. Next, we're going to need butter. So I got four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to cut that sucker in half, and I'm going to use two tablespoons at the beginning, and we're going to use two tablespoons at the end in finishing our polenta. And now we're gonna get into that mushroom stew. So we're gonna need some pancetta. So I've got about four, five ounces of coarsely chopped pancetta, which will be just fantastic. Uh, pancetta is what they call Italian bacon. So it's basically cured pork belly that is not smoked. American uh, bacon, if you will, is gonna be seasoned and cured and then smoked. So if you don't have Italian bacon, that's fine. You can just get the American bacon, that'll work fine. So four to six ounces of pancetta, Italian bacon. We're gonna use about a half of a cup of additional chicken stock. We're gonna add this stock to the mushroom mix. Now comes mushrooms, oh my God. You can use anything you want, guys. You guys can just go to town, have some fun. Uh, sometimes you're gonna be limited on the season, the region, what your market has. So here I've got some baby Bella mushrooms. I've got about 10 medium size. I've got some white caps. Again, I've got about 10 medium size, which is great. I've got oyster mushrooms, like five or six of the oyster mushrooms. I've got a really cool one here. This is called a lion's mane mushroom. This is really cool. It's kind of hairy, kind of gross and weird, but really cool. That's got a nice mild flavor to it. And last, what I was able to get from the market today is I got a portobello mushroom. So I got a big, huge cap of portobello mushroom. So again, you're using equal quantities of mushrooms, some of them in numbers or in volume or weight. I'm gonna use two cloves of garlic. Mm, garlic is just beautiful flavor of the earth. It's just delicious. It's so critical in Italian cooking, such a main staple. I'm gonna use some thyme here. So if you can have fresh thyme, that'll be great. 
So you figure we're going to use about two tablespoons of fresh thyme. If you have dry ingredients or dry herbs, you cut it in half because the dry ingredient is going to be more concentrated. So what you get from thyme is really a flavor of the earth. It's very earthy. So when you're using the, the garlic or onion and you're using it with thyme, thyme really brings in that earthy, very mild herb flavor. Next, we're going to need an onion. So I've got a medium size golden yellow onion. That'll be fantastic. And we're going to cook that down as we make this, if you will, a stew, mushroom stew. Now we're going to add a little, <clears throat> we're going to add a little kick. So we're going to add one of these. So this is a, this is a finger hot. So this sucker has got some heat to it. So just be mindful when you're cutting this up. And remember, most of your heat comes from the seeds. So if you want to bring it back, dial it back. Don't add the seeds. Uh, but in either case, that's going to put some heat. That'll be really nice on the backdrop. We're going to want to add some tomatoes here. I've got cherry tomatoes. So I've got about 10, I don't know, 11 cherry tomatoes. Again, you can add anything you want. I just like the cherry or a small plum tomato. Those would be fantastic. And that's very traditional in this recipe. We're going to need some parsley. Parsley is going to be very... It's very grassy, very herby, and it's got a citrus and a pepper to it. Obviously, we're going to need some salt. So as you guys know, I either do pink Himalayan because it's sexy. Today, we're going to be Italiano, so we're going to use some flaky Sicilian salt. So whatever salt you use is great. Uh, we're going to use some Sicilian salt. We're going to need some black pepper, fresh ground pepper. Remember, always go fresh ground. It has a much better flavor, much more robust. Last but not least, we're going to need some olive oil. And yeah, we're adding olive oil in this dish. It's going to be an Italian dish. I want Italian olives. I want some extra virgin. I want something with a little bit of a kick to it and robust, herby, grassy. You know, I want some pepper to it. Hmm, where would I go? Something delicious. I know where I would go. Hey, anybody new to our channel, I want to welcome you to our channel. So I own a farm in Italy. Uh, we co-op with a whole group of farms from that upper Puglia region, and we actually make olive oil that we get to ship to you guys. So it's named after my two sons, Vito and Joe. And boy, I'll tell you, I know what you're thinking. Man, I, I would love to have a bottle, which I would love to have you have a bottle, right? How do I get it? I'll tell you what, you hit the link above or below, or you go to my website, Cooking Italian with Joe, or my Facebook page, Cooking Italian with Joe, and just click buy it now. We'll be happy to ship you two, three, four bottles, hell, a couple of cases. We'll drop ship it right to your front doorstep. So when I look at that, I think I'm taking a trip to Italy right in a bottle, right? Which is certainly what I'd love to do with you guys today, right? We're going to Milan. We're going to Cosioli di Asti. How fantastic is that? All right, so now we got a little bit of a strategy to get going on this. So the first thing I want to get going on is my polenta. This is not the quick cook polenta, which you guys can get. This will take about 35 minutes, 30, 35 minutes. So I want to get going on my polenta first while I'm prepping my mushrooms. To start on our polenta, I'm going to take my water, two cups. I'm going to take my two cups of chicken stock. I'm going to go ahead and throw those right in a medium-sized saucepan. I'm going to put my heat on high. Last, I'm going to take my two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to put it right in the middle of my polenta, and I'm going to get that going until it starts to boil. Next, the longest thing it's going to take to get going here is my onion. So I'm going to get my onion going first. Onions are medium chopped, ready to go. Now I'm coming over into my 12-inch saucepan to make a stew. First ingredient is going to be some olive oil, so Vito and Joe's. And we're going to add about three tablespoons of olive oil. Put your heat on medium-low. First, we're going to throw onions in. And with the oil starting to heat up, I'm going to give it a nice stir. And what I'm looking to do right now is I'm looking to sweat the onions. I want to get them down to where they're translucent or almost. While the onions are going here, guys, I'm going to take my cherry tomatoes. And I'm going to cut them maybe three times across. Our tomatoes are done perfect. Next, I'm going to take our pepper, guys, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it into really thin slices. Now, I like it a little extra hot, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and include any of the seeds. Peppers are done. I'm going to slide them off to the side. Next, I got my two cloves of garlic. I'm going to give them a good smash. I'll tell you that garlic is just, you can get the aroma right now. You know what I call garlic? I call it vampire repellent or women you shouldn't be dating repellent. So listen, here's the deal, guys. If you date somebody and they don't like the aroma of garlic, I'm telling you right now, why are you with her? You know what I'm saying? And that goes the same for you, ladies, you know? So it's a great way. Just put a little garlic, uh, like cologne on one night, you know, have it on your hands or make a nice dish. Somebody says they don't like garlic. My attitude is, hey, drop them off at the next stop sign. You know what I mean? It ain't going to work out. All right, so my garlic is done. That's good. Let's check on our onions. Beautiful. All right, my onions are just starting to sweat. I love it. 
So next I'm gonna add my pancetta. The beauty with the pancetta, you're gonna get all those flavors, the cured seasoning of the pancetta, and that's gonna be salty as well. So you'll notice we haven't added a lot of salt because with the pancetta, for example, along with the cheeses, you're gonna have a lot of salt coming in on this dish already. So just be mindful of adding any salt. All right, a couple of minutes have gone by, guys. I'm gonna add my garlic. Now I've got my garlic, my onion, my pancetta, my Vito and Joe's olive oil, and I'm just gonna just turn the heat down a little bit on a low and just let that cook down and marry all those delicious flavors. What I'm looking for is that pancetta to be cooked almost fully through and the onions to become very tender. Okay, while my onions and garlic and olive oil and pancetta are going, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my thyme. Oh, is that delicious? Tell you the aroma, I wish I could give that to you. It's so beautiful. I love that, it's, it's a gentle, soft, almost elegant aroma of herb. Okay guys, our water for the polenta and stock are bubbling. I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in there and now I'm gonna go ahead and put my polenta in there. The key here is to give it a really good stir and now we're gonna turn our heat way down. So a simmer. I'm gonna use a whisk here to get it broken up. Beautiful. Guys, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cover this so it doesn't splatter. Keep it on a really, really low heat. While the plant is just starting to cook, I'm gonna take a quick peek over here. You see everything's just starting to brown. That is absolutely perfect. So I've got my tomatoes, my thyme, my hot pepper, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start taking my mushrooms quick here. And I'm gonna slice them maybe a little bit thicker than a quarter inch. So I'm looking for something like that. And I've got my white cap, I've got my baby bellas, I've got my oysters. While I'm prepping the rest of my mushrooms, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes, thyme, and chilies, and I'll give that a nice stir. So I wanna get the oils released from the thyme. I want some of the heat to come out from those peppers. So I want that to heat up pretty well before I put my mushrooms in and start steaming them down. Let's check our polenta, it's looking good. My polenta is cooking down good. I'm just gonna keep a cap on it. Make sure you're stirring it every 10 minutes or more. If it starts to get really thick, guys, just add some water to it or a little bit more stock. Sometimes I'll end up adding a cup or more. It just depends on the moisture content of your, of your polenta before you start. Now I've got my lion's mane here. I love it, it's got so much moisture in it. It's a really soft flavor of a mushroom. And now I've got my portobello mushroom, so I'm, I'm just gonna cut that in smaller pieces because it's easier to handle. Okay guys, all our mushrooms are done. We're ready to add this to our sauce. So this is cooking down beautifully. Go ahead and just put your mushrooms in. And now I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt. I'm gonna add a good heavy teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. I'm gonna get that situated. Now don't worry about your volume because the mushrooms are gonna cook way down. And now what I'm gonna do is add that half of a cup of stock. Give it a little stir. Guys, I'm gonna put a cover right over the top and allow that to start to cook down and steam. Last year, I wanna prep my parsley. I wanna hold back a little bit when I plate it just for decoration. Okay guys, our parsley's good. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little piece out right there. I'm gonna use that to top off our dish. The rest of this, I'm gonna give a mild chop to. Guys, let's come over to our mushrooms here. You're gonna see everything starting to cook down. Now guys, just to finish this off, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my parsley in. Give it a nice stir throughout. And now I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on a really low heat. Put the cover on. We're gonna do that for about 15 minutes. Guys, it's been about 25, 30 minutes. Our polenta's done here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my last two tablespoons of butter. And now I'm gonna take my Parmesan cheese, and I'm gonna go ahead and put about a half of a cup a Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna grate it right in there. And we're right at the perfect consistency right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this just to prep for our mushrooms. Okay guys, mushrooms are starting to cook down on that volume. Polenta's almost done, absolutely delicious. Couple of tips to make this dish just come out, mwah, molto delicio. Number one, molto importante, you gotta hit that subscribe button. When you hit that subscribe button, now it makes you a member of our channel. That's how it means the world to me, you hit that like button and notification button. So what that means is any new trips, any new recipes, anything we got going on with cooking Italian with Joe, we're doing a lot of work on the villa out there. That'll come right to your notification box. And I'll tell you, it means the world to me when you subscribe to the channel. And hey, make sure part of the family, you know what I'm saying? As far as the olive oil goes, that link above or below, I think I can hear it. I can hear it being shipped to your house as we speak. I wish it had a love button, not just a like button, but whatever, you gotta like it, right? And you hit the notification bell. Jeez, you guys are ready to go. All right, let's get back to mushrooms. Oh, let's uncover that. Look how beautiful that is, right? So all the volume of that mushrooms are starting to cook down. And you see that beautiful sauce, but it's a little thin on us right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the cover off. So we want it almost like a gravy consistency. So just leave that off, let it steam off and give it a stir. Every few minutes, we're probably looking at another five to eight minutes. Oh, look how good that is. 
Can you guys get an aroma of that right there? Oh, 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 that is delicious. And you see how nice and thick our sauce is? All right, so that's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn our heat down. Guys, the mushrooms are done. So I wanna show you how they traditionally plate it. They'll usually use a large bowl in Milan, or they'll just take a large piece of wood, like, almost like a small cutting board, and they'll use that as well. So we're gonna use a bowl. And grab my polenta, which is hot. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna make a well, almost like you're making a almost like you're making a pasta and spread it just like that. So you got a nice well in the middle. And now guys, I'm gonna take my mushroom and you're gonna put that right in the middle. How delicious is that, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your Parmesan cheese and you wanna hit, go heavy, go heavy on it. And you guys remember that last bit of parsley we had, right? So we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of parsley over the top. Can you guys get that aroma right there? Oh, oh, that is good. So I want to share this with you as best as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and take a, a good scoop. And that's hot. You guys can see the steam coming off. And you've got a delicious mix of the mushrooms and the chili and the polenta and the garlic and the onion. And it just creates a gravy along with the cheese and the butter. Oh, how good does that piece look? You ready? Here it is. Taste of vision, smell of vision. Oh, all right, here we go. The aroma hits you with the polenta and the cheese first. And then you're getting the onion and the garlic and the mushrooms. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. Oh boy. Guys, that is absolutely delicious. And I'll tell you what the real gold of this is. You get that pancetta, so you're getting that pork flavor kind of throughout, and it's subtle. And as it comes through, it just gets better and better. And then you get a piece of that pancetta in there. You know what I love right now? I get the polenta. I get the cheese, like right away, and the flavor of the polenta. And now you're getting all that gravy, that flavor of the mushroom. So you're getting the the garlic and the onion and the olive oil and the thyme. Oh, and you're just getting, you're getting a little bit of the heat from the hot pepper, not too much. It adds to it. I love that. It doesn't overpower it. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to be sweating, but I want that beautiful, delicious backdrop, that note of heat. And then the mushrooms obviously just keep coming through. You got the tomatoes. I'll tell you the flavors in there. They just don't stop coming. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. Take a beautiful trip to my family's homeland and, uh, and spend some time making a, a simple, beautiful, delicious dish that hopefully you guys will make part of your traditions every year or several times a year with your family. Now remember, hit that red subscribe button, make you part of the family. You gotta like the video. You know, I wish I had a heart for love and make sure you hit that notification bell. That way, any trips, any new information we got coming every week, it'll come right to your notification box. If you haven't already, guys, hit the link above or below, grab yourself, and your family a few bottles of extra virgin Italian olive oil right from Puglia, Italy. It's truly a, a trip to Italy right in a bottle. And guys, most important, and really the, the backdrop, the main reason I do these videos, inspire you to get in the kitchen, you know what I mean? Spend some time with your family. Talk to your grandparents or your mom and dad, you know, and celebrate your heritage, whatever that may be. And, and I think most importantly, set some tradition, something you're gonna do regularly to celebrate your love for each other and your family and do it regularly. It'll last you a lifetime. I know it did for me. Hey guys, from my kitchen to yours, until next week, mwah, bon appetito.